the women's soccer team continues their impressive season. And the football team picks up another big conference win. All this and more coming up on All Access with the Profs. Ahoy hoy everyone and welcome to All Access with the Profs. I'm Chris Sharnagle. And I'm Maria Brasco. Let's get to it. The Rowan University men's cross country team competed in the open race at the Paul Short Run on Saturday. The meet was held at Lehigh University. The Profs were scheduled to run in the white race, which was in the afternoon. But due to the heat, Coach Fritz had the team compete in the open race, which took place in the morning. Rob Rawls was the first runner to cross the finish line for Rowan. He finished 35th with a time of 25 minutes and 58 seconds among 516 competitors. Tim Dole took 125th with a time of 27 minutes, 3 seconds, and John Sewing was 153rd with a time of 27 minutes and 23 seconds. The women's cross country team also competed at the Paul Shore Invitational at Lehigh on Saturday. Megan Boers took 15th place with a time of 22.13. There were a total of 365 runners in the race. Gabby Prendergast came in the 100th with a time of 23.37. And Samantha Stapleton was 102nd with a time of 23.29. However, it was the College of Holy Cross who won the Brown race with 176 points and Chippensburg University with the second with 184 points. The Rowan University Profs field hockey team fell to Salisbury University 3-0 Wednesday evening. The Salisbury Seagulls are 7-2 overall. Forward Courtney Jansen from Delaney scored a goal at 17-14 and again at 52-40. Back Katie Hastings from Elkton scored the final 20, in the final 25 seconds after a ball she hit deflected off a Profs player and into the cage. Prop goals, Col goals Steph Colombo from Camden Catholic recorded 23 saves, while Salisbury goalie Rachel Kluwer from Northeast made three saves. The Profs host number one Montclair State on Saturday afternoon. The Profs record is currently 4-5. The Rowan University field hockey team beat number one Montclair State University 3-2 for Montclair's first loss of the season on Saturday afternoon. The Red Hawks are 10-1 overall and 2-1 in the conference. Rowan started strong with two goals. One was by forward Kelly Campbell from Arthur L. Johnson at 250, and the forward Jenna, Jenna Pressler from Shawnee scored the second goal at 619. Prof goalie Steph Colombo from Camden Catholic stopped seven shots and Red Hawks goalie Rebecca Bertol from Arthur L. Johnson's had one save. The Profs are 5-5 five and five with a 1-1 one and one NJAC record. They take on Wesley College on Thursday night at 7 p.m. The Rowan football team is on a roll as they defeated NJAC rival the College of Brockport on October 5th by a score of 20-16. With the win, the Profs improved to 3-1, holding a three-game winning streak and an important 2-0 record in conference play. Quarterback Paul Hermersma went 17 for 26 for 167 yards with a touchdown and an interception, while running backs Wilther Marcelin and Matt Dorch added 72 yards on 18 carries and 62 yards on 14 carries with a touchdown, respectively. Each Brockport quarterback, Ty Stolt, was 26 for 48 for 247 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. And running back Tyrone Nichols had 71, 71 yards on 22 carries. The Profs held a 20-0 lead entering the fourth quarter before Brockport led a two-touchdown charge to make it a one-possession game. After a drive to the Rowan 16-yard line with two minutes remaining in the game, Brockport was intercepted in the end zone by Profs linebacker Darren Dungey to seal the victory. The Profs will stay on the road to face Marshville State College on October 12th, the third NJAC opponent in the last three games. Success has found the Rhone volleyball team, who now holds a 12-6 record overall, following a 2-0 week. On Tuesday, October 1st, the Profs defeated Keene 3-1 by set scores of 29-27, 25-23, 21-25, and 25-17. Outside hitter Danielle Havlicek noted 14 kills and mid-hitter Morgan Mendy at 11 kills, while Libero Casey Casey Grasso rec recorded 23 digs, and a mid-hitter, Elena Hansen, had three blocks en route to the victory. 
The Profs then took a four-game winning streak into a home matchup on October 5th with Hunter College. The team would not disappoint as they extended their win streak to a season-high five games by winning in straight sets. Mendy notched 15 kills in one block, Havlicek had eight kills, and outside hitter Kirsten Solaro had eight kills in one block for the Profs. Next up for Rowan volleyball team is a match at home versus NJAC rival Rutgers Camden on October 10th to close out the Spartan Invitational. Coming up, Liz Brister hosts Roundtable with the members of the women's volleyball team when we return here on All Access.